What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreak.com. 2223 Tops UEFA Club Competitions. Merlin Chrome Soccer just sold out. This is a three box break, random team number three, guys. And again, guys, uh, everybody that's a random team from the list below, all cards ship. There is a combo spot for all teams not listed here. And there's a combo teams there for that. And uh, yeah, let's go, guys. Here we go. Let's roll it. Got ourselves a three and a four seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Three and a four, seven, seven. D Porter down to Tim. All right, three and a four, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times, seven, seven. Manchester United down to Liverpool. Alrighty guys, so Deporter, you have Manchester United, Ben with Juventus, Deporter with uh, uh, Real Madrid and Salzburg, Steven Carney with Tottenham, Deporter with Leipzig, uh, Dortmund for Tristan, Deporter with PSG, Dave with uh, Fernabase, uh, Deporter with Stad, Brian with Chelsea, Deporter with Copenhagen, Allen with FC Barcelona, Deporter you have the combo spot and Benfica. Tim with Bayern Munich. Um, D Porter with Arsenal. Kev with Inter Milan. D Porter with Rangers FC and Celtic, as well as Manchester City Sporting Club and PSV for Rosario. D Porter with AC Milan. And then Tim with uh, Liverpool. 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 All right, well, if anybody wants to make any trades, guys. Got a quick minute. No, Rex. We don't go live on Fanatics on Saturday, sir. Teddy does IG personals for one day out of the week. I think once we can do a lot more personals on Fanatics in the sense that like it's built for more to sustain more personals, kind of categorize it differently, then we'll probably switch fully over there. But the only day we're not on Fanatics over there is on Saturdays now. And no, we can go live whenever. It's just maybe today everybody went live early or they're going live later. Although I will say though, Fanatics live though, uh, I feel like a lot of customers tend to buy early because I think by the time it hits 10 o'clock, it's usually really, really dead. Like obviously it's still an app that's growing. So, not the craziest amount of eyes on there, but obviously enough. But, no, we can schedule it whenever we want, honestly. I was actually telling Nick that we should go on a little earlier there. But, no, I see people on Fanatics breaking, like, when I wake up at 9 in the morning, literally. And there's customers, there's breakers here on the East Coast, or on the West Coast that are breaking at 9 in the morning. Whoa. Like, nobody? That's, yeah, it is kind of weird. Unless the app crashed. There's like three people live, Rex. What are you talking about, dude? I see one, two, three, four, five, five people live right now. What you talking about, bro? If that's the case, then maybe the app crashed at that point or something. I don't know. All right, well, no trades, right? So. GWC. Maybe. That's true. Could have. Or it was an update or something. Yeah, you know what? The other platforms do the same thing, though. I feel like Whatnot does the same thing. Like, every once in a while, like, it'll make you re-sign back in. I think it's just more for security purposes, but it is kind of annoying, right? 
All right, uh, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right, guys. Do a quick, quick dice roll. And it's a five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these boxes will be used for number four, which is not part of the promo, guys, but we can run it back, though. Used to it. it is annoying though. How the hell can you remember the same password though? Is it is it a pin password at least? Because I mean, if it's that, I guess you can. I would hate to have to change my shit like all the time. The only time I have to really really change my password is like if I want to check like uh, if I want to check like our, our online like website that we use for like our company that we use for like payroll and stuff. That's the only one I have to change like every six months. Like, it'll warn me every time I log in saying you have X amount of time, and then, like, when I forget and I don't change it, it'll be like, you have been logged out. You need to change your password. Oh, my God. Fuck that. No, I can't. Sorry. Sorry for the language, guys. No. <laughs> I, I, like, basically, honestly, and I'm pretty bad, honestly. I shouldn't even be saying this, but... My passwords have almost always been similar, just changing specific numbers or characters. And literally, I've, I've had like the same, maybe three or four passwords that I rotate like my whole life. Literally. I mean, I created one new one recently, but like, I hate having to come up with a new password and like having to learn it. And I don't like to store my passwords like in my notes or anything like that, so. No, hell no, dude. I just love it when like it's already, I can just use, I just love it when I can use fake face recognition. So I love it when the app on my phone or something like that can do the face recognition so that way I don't even have to worry about signing in. It's like, bro, it's my face. No one else is going to mimic this face, you know? Joe Dirt, how they make when they make fun of that guy. 
It puts lotion on the skin. <laughs> on <the> skin. <laughs> What are you talking about? Nothing happened. Now Michael, man, all right, Michael is really, really close to like a, a yellow doppelganger. You know, well, there was one time my wife, uh, she. She opened my my mother-in-law's phone one time. They have like a sort of similar face. Like her her genes on her mom's side are really really strong. So like my wife came out basically like you know very similar to like all her aunts and stuff like that. Like they have a similar face structure. And there was one time my wife was like in the dark, uh, like logging into something. Uh, we we're at we we're at my in-laws house and we we're logging into something. Like I think we we're watching a movie and she asked us to log into something. And like she. She actually was able to open her phone, like, in the dark, like, and her face recognized her as my mother-in-law. And then when she tried it again with the light, obviously it didn't work. But, uh, yeah, Michael probably would be able to do something like that. Ooh, nice Garnacho. I'm telling you, Michael should have went to those games against Milwaukee this week. Literally sat by, like... First baseline, right behind the dugout of, of Milwaukee, and just literally was just dressed up as a Christian Yelich doppelganger. Probably would have been on the news or on the jumbotron. Killing Mbappe and Gabriel Batista or Batistua. And that's for AFC uh, Fiorenta. Which should be the combo spot. So combo's going to deport her. And that Garnacho, of course, is a Manchester United going to deport her as well. It has Manchester United and Man City. Lewandowski. Hard stuff. And we got Osama for Union Saints. I don't like that these cards are getting stuck already. Like the product just came out. A nice uh, alchemy, Aegis alchemy of Messi. Yeah, maybe, dude. I mean, I would have done that. I mean, Michael's pretty out there. He's not a shy guy. I mean, there's been plenty of times where, you know, you guys know Thomas, right? I mean, there's been plenty of times where Thomas uh, in the past has went to like a Dodger game or even to like a basketball game one time and they thought he was, they thought he was Nico Mannion or they thought he was like, you know, Dustin May, you know? People went up and said, oh my God, can we get a photo with you? <laughs> Tell for being. Whoa. Lucas Gorna for uh, Salzburg. Yeah, I told him that like twice and he just laughed. I'm like, bro, I'm serious, dog. Like, you should do that. He was doing really good. I, I think they had a really good season. He was, he was really good, but uh, I think they're, well, school's starting again, so. He was here throughout the summer, actually, so. Basically, he loves a hobby too, so he was just like, hey, obviously it's summertime, do you guys need any help? I'm open, <laughs> I'm coming back home for the summer, so he was here uh, working for uh, with us again, kind of doing the store, anywhere he can help. But I think he just went back to school this past week, so he his last day was like last week or something, at some point. Borello? Yeah, he's going into his next year.
All right, this box is really, really stuck. Like, all bad. Brio and Bolo for Monaco FC. And then we got Marcus Edwards with Sporting Cloak. These cards are getting so stuck. But how about a red Giovanni Reyna? Four out of five for Dortmund. And that's going to Tristan. Woohoo! That's a nice one there, Tris. Yeah, he was talking about that. Uh, I thought I heard, overheard him saying that there was like a couple players on his team that got drafted to the MLB. Yeah, I think that's his goal. So, you know, potentially get v enough views. Or maybe not drafted, but signed a undrafted for, uh, as a, signed with a club with, as an undrafted free agent or something like that. I thought I heard him say that. It was either a couple of them got drafted or a couple of them signed with the MLB team. Henrik Larson. Which that's all it takes, you know? Cody Gakpo. Jamal Musalea. Josko. All right, last box here, guys. Harry Kane. We got a green Malik Tillman for Rangers to 99. Enzo Fernandez. Rivaldo. Briel for Monaco FC to 299 for the combo. Sesco. Griezmann. Saudi Main. Garnacho. Wayne Rooney. Josko for Leipzig. It's 75. The autograph must be like the last card again. And Malik Dial for AC Milan. And AC Milan is going to D Porter. Yeah, good penmanship. I don't know how his penmanship is, though, to be honest. Yeah, he knows the hobby. He knows he, how people hate redemption, so I'm sure he wouldn't want to do that. Alrighty, folks, and there you go. So we got a couple autos there. Garnacho Blue, Sorcerers. And we got a red Geo Reyna, which is really nice. Of course, a lot of other inserts that I'm sleeving up. And then all the colors we got as well. Thank you guys so much. And again, guys, you guys that are in this break, obviously, will be part of that promo. If, of course, we do sell out those breaks in the promo uh, section by tonight. So, still plenty of time. So, definitely have enough time, guys. Appreciate it, folks. JaspiesCageBreaks.com.